are you somebody who's struggling to learn React? Well, I definitely was. I remember I went through the Odin project, I went through Free Code Camp, and I found it quite difficult to just learn React by reading or going through their tutorials. So I naturally turned to YouTube, as a lot of you do, I'm sure. And I came across this video by freecodecamp.org. So they do have a really useful YouTube channel, but what I found and what many people found is it's very hard to decide to sit through an 11 hour video, okay? 11 hours is a long time, but in terms of learning, there's no way you're gonna have the attention span. And I guarantee most people drop off at around half an hour. But this course is actually what I did to learn React in, I think, about two days. So what is the course? Well, in the description, they link to a website called Scrimba. Now, I am not sponsored by Scrimba. There are paid courses on there and you do need to log in. So be aware of that. But I did take this course. And what I liked about it was the instructor is just absolutely excellent. So if I click over here, this is the Scrimba page where you learn React. And this is the exact course that I did. It's an integrated coding environment, so you don't have to do all the setup and messing around with React just to get started. And he goes through everything uh, completely for free. So his name is Bob Zirol, and the course is absolutely excellent. So let me just uh, log in and enroll for free. All right, now I am logged in, so I'm just gonna go to the lesson. And as you can see, it's already put me back somewhere that I've been before. Now I've done a good bit of this course, if not all of it. Uh, as you can see, yeah, I actually did go through all of it at some point. Some stuff I skipped, but the course itself is fantastic. If you are really struggling with it and you like videos and interactive learning environments, this is excellent and it is completely free. Now it is a long course. It's still gonna be almost 12 hours. But if you are a dedicated student, you follow along, there are tasks, there are activities, there's loads of things to do. And you can go through and learn React in the, over the course of basically two days or three days. You could learn it in a week, depending on where you're at. So let's just have a look at props versus state. So if I click into this video, what you'll see is there is a video element that you can click and follow through. Now I'm not gonna play it because um, I don't want to use too much of their materials, but if I skip through this, you can see that there's this big coding environment where the instructor is guiding you through various things. But if I click on the screen, I can actually change pages and I can type directly in the coding environment. So not only is the instructor showing you what to do, but you can actually interact on the page. It's absolutely brilliant. And I found this environment very useful for learning to code, specifically learning React. And then once I got comfortable with React going through this course, I did all of the challenges. And then I started to move on to building projects. So, so what I started to do following this course from Scrimba was I went on to Front End Mentor and you can log in with your GitHub and I went through challenges. So you can start with free ones. That's what I did. Um, I believe you can just filter by free, yep. And I would start off with any of these. Keep it as simple as possible. Start with the newbie ones, work your way up to junior, and then expand into intermediate if you really want to. But you can use React to build these things. You can just, you can use any framework that you want really. And it's a really good way for you to practice the skills that you learned in the Scrimba course or elsewhere when you're learning React or Next.js or whatever it is. And you can actually practice it here. So if I just click into this recipe page, they give you all of the stuff that you need to start a challenge. So it's gonna describe what you need to do. So there's a brief here, they give you a readme, they give you a style guide, they give you all of the assets. So it's not like you have to go looking for these what type are they using and what images are they using? What colors are these? There's no guessing game. 
and usually they're responsive. So if you're somebody who's just getting used to responsive design and CSS, it's a fantastic way to get started. Uh, you hit challenge, it gives you the starter pack, you can get a Figma file if you pay for the pro version and so on and so forth. But yeah, that is how I learned React. Again, this course, completely free. Uh, free Code Camp, completely free. The Odin Project, completely free. Front end mentor challenges, the ones that you can do, uh, you can pay or you can do what I did, which is completely free. So hopefully this video is helpful to you. I just wanna keep sharing resources with you to help you learn to code and just give you a bit of feedback as to how I did it. But if you found this video helpful, uh, definitely leave a like. It helps this video reach more people and very best of luck on your coding journey.